is better than having Jerry Nothing. Seinfeld here on Thanksgiving? I'm happy to see you. Thank you for coming back on the show. I, I'm psyched. You look Why great. Why do you say that? Thank you for coming. Everybody wants to be on this show. You don't have to thank anybody. No, but everyone is dying to get on the show. No, but it's Thanksgiving, so it's, why not? Give th more thanks. Oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I overthink everything. Yeah, how are the, how is the family? How are the kids? Family's great. Who do you want to know about? Sasha. Uh, Sasha is uh, she's in college, Ooh. so uh, you know. So she was the first one. She's my oldest. Yep. So she goes to college first year, freshman year, and everybody, you know, is like. Are you okay, Jerry? You know, your, your little girl left the house. Are you okay? Yeah. And, you know, when you have a kid, see, how old is your oldest? Nine. Nine. Okay, you're not close yet. <laughs> but when you have a kid, you know, when, when you have a nine-year-old, it's like a baby alligator. It's like you have a baby alligator. Yeah. It's a fantastic, fun little... If you found a baby alligator, you'd put it in your tub, all your friends would come over to check it out, and it would be, oh, my God, look at this. And you'd put, put your finger, feel those little teeth, baby alligator teeth. And then some time goes by, and you go, we got to get this thing the hell out of here. <laughs> it's, it's, it got big. I, it's too big. I've never I feel, heard that analogy. I feel, I feel nervous with this thing in the house. <laughs> That's what happens with a kid. It needs to be out there uh, murdering and eating other and things. How, uh, yeah. How are the boys? The boys are great. Uh, my next uh, one under that, I, uh, I try to talk to him. Uh, he's 17, and um, it's a little difficult yeah. communicating. Uh, whatever I say, this is not a joke. Uh, the alligator thing was a joke. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a baby alligator. Yeah. But this is a, just a, this is what he says. If whatever I say, he goes, you're not wrong. Which, I mean, why would I say something thinking I'm wrong? I mean, why are you telling me? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> that's I all know. he says to you? That's what he says. Yeah. Or I'll say, let's get Chinese food, and he'll say, that's fair. <laughs> How could it be fair or unfair? Yeah, wow. By the way, no Chinese restaurants in China. You ever thought about that? <laughs> That's interesting. No, they're not. They're not. They're just restaurants. Just restaurants. Just That's restaurants. exactly right. <laughs> and nobody in China says, are you in the mood for Chinese? They don't ask that. No. <laughs> they go, well, sure, we're, we're, we're yeah. you know, they just go, you're hungry? Yeah, I can eat. That's what, that's what <laughs> I can eat. Yeah. What do you do? No, wait a minute. They, I, I looked this up. No, this, no fortune cookies. No restaurant in China has a fortune cookie. Why? It's not a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> it's just a restaurant. I understand. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah the restaurant. You have to leave China uh -huh. to go to a Chinese, Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant, yeah. In, yes. in China, they're just They restaurants. don't have them. They don't have fortune cookies. It's a shame. They yeah. would be popular. No, but you... <laughs> but what do you normally do for Thanksgiving? Do you get the family over? Do you watch a football yeah, yeah, game? Do you yeah, play cards? Yeah, what do yeah. you do? No, I don't play cards. No. No. Do you play? Do you? You like? You seem like the guy. I've always known uh, celebrities. They like these card games. Be careful. Poker. What? <laughs> what do I seem like? You like? You're the kind of guy that would hang out with like famous people and play poker. You think? Remember I'm that... Johnny Carson had that poker game with, did. with Steve Martin. Steve Martin and, and yeah, Lauren played it. Yeah. Yeah. And these celebrities would come and play play cards with yeah. Johnny Carson. Yeah. yeah. It's big celebrity poker. They yeah. Love it. I. I, I don't... I never really, I mean, I would go, you know, the people are cool or the people that you like, and they always, they usually have those really little sandwiches. Yeah. At poker games, they'll have a little tiny sandwich. Yeah. So I would go for that. But this idea of trying to get each other's money, um, you know, I have a pair of threes, you have a pair of sixes. All right, take the money, take it. Why wouldn't we have different cards? Why is this important? Who got better cards? <laughs> it's, it's a game. And they go, oh, it's how you play the cards. I don't want to play the cards. Uh, the whole idea of... Lying to each other. Just... Lying, cunning, deceit, <laughs> perception. You have a tell, your eyes twitching, you had a tell. I, I got your... How is this fun with friends? I don't understand. <laughs> no one wins. No, I would go, just give me the little sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, have you had a chance to check in on uh, Jay Leno, our friend? I talked to Jay yesterday. He's doing great. Yeah, that's it. Jay is doing great.
Happy to hear that. We wish him the best. Wish you the best, Jay. Now, this is another true thing. I get on the phone with Jay. This is how crazy Jay is. He's completely crazy. He just... He, he doesn't want sympathy. That's, you know, he's like... <laughs> He really he's, you know, he is. He's such a... He's beast mode. He's, he's like Marshawn Lynch. He's he really beast is beast mode. He's always, yeah. This is the exact conversation. I get on the phone with him. The guy's in a burn unit. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You call him Jay. He gets on the phone. He answers the phone. He, I, I, Jay, how you doing? He says, I'm good. He says, how are you? I'm good. He goes, so, I, did you hear? I heard there was a lot of snow. Was there a lot of snow back east? <laughs> Jay, you're in a... Who cares about snow? <laughs> Jay, you're, you, you, yeah. this is serious. You're in the hospital. Yeah, you're in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. forget about you. Let's get... I, I had a uh, snow plow and I got to put chains on. Yeah, no, why are we talking about... No, Jay, let's... He hosted The Tonight Show with a broken leg. Did you know yeah. that? No, I didn't know that. He got in a... This is in the 80s, yeah. yeah. He got in a car accident and didn't... He still had to, wanted to do The Tonight Show, had a He's... job to do, hosted the show with a broken That's leg. That's what's great. He's the toughest guy in the world and he'll make a full recovery. Yeah. It's going to be great. Good man, yeah. 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 Uh... I want to talk about Jerry Seinfeld, the, the comedian, uh, but I also want to talk about Jerry Seinfeld, the model. Whoa. Where's Quest? I mean, this is Quest I bumped into at a thing the other night, and he thinks this is a, an avenue for me. I, I, I need to do more of this. Smooth Jerome. Yeah, well, smooth Jerome, he calls Smooth him. Jerome. What, what do you call him, Smooth Jerome? Smooth Jerome. That's what Twitter called him. I don't know what I'm doing here. Why is this? <laughs> no, why this is, is this modeling? I'm just I, I put these clothes on. But what? And and you know. No, you look great. But what? What is it? It's Kith. Yes. It's Kith clothing. Kith. How do you get involved with Kith? My kids know about it. They said, Dad, that's really cool clothes. You should do this thing. So I figured, no one's gonna see this. I'll just do it. Oh, it's, it was giant. Yeah, it was big. It was everywhere. I know. But you could have a whole thing. Smooth Jerome. Doing what? <laughs> this, you're doing it now. You can't okay. stop doing it. You're just being you. <laughs> you're Smooth Jerome. The man who couldn't stop. You couldn't stop. The man who couldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> I want to write that. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's talk about the comedians in cars getting coffee book. Yeah, I'm so excited that you, you put this out. It is not only some of the funniest uh, comedians that you ever could think of saying the funniest things, mm -hmm. but also some great behind-the-scenes stories about how this came to be. How did the first one start? Was it you uh, and Larry, The Larry first David? one started with my friend Barry Martyr. We were driving around one time, and I said, you know, this is such a funny conversation. I wonder if this is a show. Because I think these, this, this idea, I don't, know, I don't know what this is. Why don't we just cut to the, the jokes? You mean? You know? It's like these talk shows where people walk out and to music. <laughs> yes. Why, why do we need all of this? No, that's a great part I of the show. I love and this. I say, yeah, why not music? just cut, cut, cut the video, and then I'll go right into the alligator bit right from here? No. No? You don't want, you, so you don't, at the beginning of the show, when I walk out, that's... Do we need it? I don't know. Do we need it? <laughs> so the Tonight Show just begins. Yeah. It begins with the alligator bit. <laughs> <laughs> or the, uh, you yeah. know, the electric knife and... and yeah, the, we'll uh, do that bit. the turkey bit. We'll <laughs> do that bit. So my idea was conversation is good. This is before the whole podcast explosion. I don't really understand how people like two hours of that. Yeah, you like editing. Cut everything. Cut it. <laughs> Any, uh, Cut that, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. Ah. Ah. I was waiting. I knew I, I, I'm working on it, right? Yeah. You know what? It's, it's a, a, a stand-up thing. Stand-up comedy is like, I have a lot of funny ideas. Just give us the funniest ones. We don't want to hear anything else. Edit. Edit. Yeah, edit conversation. Everything. Edit a conversation. Right. We edit your want... closet. Yeah. Edit your life. Yeah. Edit everything down. And then, so you did that, and then it, was on, it wasn't even on. It was before streaming or any of the stuff when you were doing Yeah, I just put it on the internet. And uh, I just put it on a website, and I just left it there. And... Uh, just grew from there. Yeah. We did... Uh, one of my favorite memories of my life was hanging out with you. We did... We were in a gray car um, that kept breaking down, by the way. Do you remember that? 
The car, oh, the Corvette broke down. It was a 54 Corvette. And people thought it was the funniest thing watching Jerry Seinfeld yeah, stall in a car. Yeah, I got very frustrated, yeah. People were like, that's oh, Jerry Seinfeld, you can't start the car. <laughs> <laughs> the old women were laughing at us. But then we got to go in my Boston Whaler, yes. the world's greatest boat. Yes. Boston Whalers. I ended up getting a... And you got one, because you loved mine. Yes, yeah. I got it, because I, I, I was in that thing, and I go, this is unbelievable. Do you use it? You go, I like this. I yeah. Go, I have a 13-foot Boston Whaler. You know those little boats? It's the unsinkable legend is the, is the, brand, is the hook for the brand. Yes. Because you can cut a Boston Whaler into pieces, which, and it still floats. Which I plan to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, he's the unsinkable legend. You know how he has this amazing, unnatural enthusiasm all, every night? He's... <laughs> every night. Uh, you are the unsinkable. No, no you, are the, you are the great. Thank you. I, you always give me a good nickname every time you come on. Yeah. Yeah, the unsinkable legend is what I'm going to go right. with this or time. Or the uh, white snow, snow leopard. Snow leopard yeah. was a different one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, the Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee book is out right now. Pick.